I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free, oh my sweet baby Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel today I am gonna give a little update on Miss Ray she is about to be five months old she will actually be five months old by the time you guys see this video she will be five months on the 29th anyways I have not gave an update since her birth announcement so I figured I would hop on here give you guys a little update I will also share a couple of our favorites right now and I will also show you guys how to do this hold. This is the Key Babies wrap. I also have a boba wrap. They're both very good wraps. I'll leave them both linked down below. Um, the boba is just a little bit more stretchy, but like I said, they're both very good wraps. So this hold is very similar to the newborn hold. It's just that their legs aren't tucked and you don't have to fold the wrap in half before you put it on. All right, so I've got a list here. <laughs> of everything that I want to update on. So the first thing I'll talk about is her weight. So she was six pounds at birth. She's now 12 pounds. So she's doubled in her birth weight. So we are still currently breastfeeding. I used to be able to pump and give her a bottle. And I would do that like if we went to a family member's house or if they came here, um, just to give somebody else the opportunity to feed her and bond with her. Um, but after a month like she just stopped taking the bottle completely it didn't it didn't matter what was inside of it she just didn't want anything to do with the bottle um i haven't tried different nipples so maybe i need to change up the nipple breastfeeding really hasn't been an issue so i've not really been too concerned with forcing a bottle on her so we just quit with the bottle altogether um she also does not take a pacifier about the same time she stopped taking the bottle she stopped taking the pacifier so um like i said we just haven't been forcing that on her i have tried like four different kinds of pacifier nipples um thinking maybe it was the nipple but she just won't have anything to do with them but one thing that i have currently started is giving her a little bit of oatmeal um and i've been mixing it with my breast meal so we have been doing that at night and it does help her sleep a little bit longer for that first stretch whenever she goes down she will sleep for a good four or five hours before she wakes up but she still wakes up at least two to three times it's like after she wakes up that first time she'll wake up frequently after that we're doing cereal at night the only thing i'm currently giving her is oatmeal um i will start giving her some rice next i don't think that there's any rhyme or reason when it comes to the cereals which one you should do first I just started on oatmeal just because that's what I wanted to give her first um, but we will try rice next and then next month we'll start doing some baby food. I'm going to be making some videos on on how I make my own baby food and everything so you guys will get to see that and that's another thing because I've started giving her cereal with my breast milk. I just used the last bit of my breast milk that I had in the freezer. I had stopped pumping because she wasn't taking a bottle anyways. She just wanted to be on the boob 24-7. So I just stopped pumping altogether. But now that I'm mixing breast milk with her cereal. But it doesn't have to be like pumping two or three times a day. I can just pump once a day and that'll be good. Um, everything with breastfeeding is still going really well um, i've just been very blessed in the breastfeeding department with all of my babies i've had good milk supply i've not had any problems i don't have to eat any kind of special cookies or drink anything special to get my milk to come in i've just been very blessed and i'm so thankful because it's just one of the things that has come very easy for me and i know a lot of people struggle with that but i will say with my first child kai i struggled a lot for like the first I would say six months I really just had no idea what I was doing and it really was a struggle for me especially right after he was born I didn't feel like my body was producing enough milk for him I felt like he was hungry 
and then I started having engorging problems and it was just not a good time. I actually hated breastfeeding during that time, but I stuck with it and it turned out to be one of the best things ever. I actually had to supplement him with formula, but I still kept on with um, the breastfeeding because it was something that I was just so passionate about doing and I'm so glad that I did because once Kane and Raylan came along, breastfeeding is just one of those things that came very natural for me. And like I said, we've not had any problems. So we're still breastfeeding and no problem. So another thing that I want to update on is her teething. So I feel like she started teething around three months, maybe younger. Um, and I wasn't sure that it was teething at first because the boys never teeth that early. And so I just, I don't know, I just didn't think she was teething yet. But um, she had all the signs. She was chewing on her fist. She was drooling just very whiny and irritable and so I kind of felt like she probably was teething so I purchased her an amber teething necklace and she has it on right now we still wear it but, um one thing that has really helped her a lot is this Sophie she loves this thing and it's very easy for her to grab because it's got all the legs and the neck and it's soft and squishy and it squeaks it does have a little bit of a vanilla scent uh so i don't know she just draws to it when she's fussy and i know that her gums are bothering her i'll hand her this and she will go to town on this thing but i got this off of amazon i'll leave it linked down below other thing while we're talking about teething one of you guys had recommended some of this pumpkin butt teething oil off of Amazon so I had talked about in a vlog that I was having to give her or gel and Tylenol and um, you guys had let me know that or gel is actually not good for them and I did not know that um, so thank you to everybody who let me know that and one of you guys had reached out and told me about this pumpkin butt oil the day that I got those comments about the or gel we stopped that day with that and I ordered some of this off of Amazon and so far I'm loving it. It is 100% organic. It's made with sunflower oil, chamomile, um, clove, and peppermint. And it's just a little blend that comes in a glass bottle. I've just been putting this on her gums. I mainly will do it at night after she takes her bath. I will rub a little bit on the tops and bottoms of her gums and it does seem to help her sleep a little bit longer for that first initial stretch. So, like I said, I'm going to leave this stuff linked down below if you guys are interested and thank you to whoever recommended this because we love it. So she is currently rolling over. She has been rolling over since about three and a half four months but she's gotten to where it's just a lot easier for her now to put her on her back and she's flipped over within just a second and she's also getting to where she's using her legs to scoot and so she's at the point now where we can't lay her on the bed and walk away because she will roll over and she's starting to scoot and she's just becoming mobile so you have to watch her very closely or she will roll off the bed so she's starting to use her legs and she'll kind of get up on her knees a little bit but she slips but i don't think it's going to be long until she learns how to get up on her knees and stay there and then that's when we're going to start getting into crawling and um, I kind of feel like she will be one of those babies that walks a little bit early. Um, both of the boys, Kai walked at nine months, Kane walked at 10 months. So hopefully she will be like them and take off. And then another thing is I got her ears pierced. So I know this is like a controversial thing. Some people don't agree with getting your baby's ears pierced. That's fine. But for me and my baby, I personally wanted to do that and I feel like that's okay. So I just went with a very small white gold earring and so far she's not had any problems. I don't know about where you guys live but I know where we live the babies have to be at least the three months old before they will even consider piercing their ears. So she was probably three and a half closer to four months whenever I took her but I knew that I wanted to get it done as soon as possible while she's still very small so that she doesn't tug at them and cause them to get infected. Um, so far she does not mess with them. She doesn't even know they're there. Um, I just clean them and rotate them. They gave us some gel to keep on there and I just put the gel on there, clean them, rotate them and so far she's not had any redness. She doesn't mess with them. It doesn't bother her so so far the ear piercings are going very well and a tip that a fellow mama had shared with me prior to taking her was that whenever she took her daughter to get her ears pierced she put a little bit of baby origel on her earlobes and 
her baby barely felt it and I think that was the same case with her because I did the same thing I put the aura gel on her earlobes and she barely cried she cried but it was not very long at all and I think the reason she even cried to begin with is because they were right up against her head even when we go to the doctor and the doctor has to look in her ears she absolutely hates that so I think it was more so they were just up in her bubble and messing with her head more so than actually getting her ears pierced. Another thing that she's starting to do is like I said, she's grabbing toys. She will grab the Sophie. If I put it in front of her face, she'll grab it or any of her little toys. I can dangle it in front of her face and she'll actually take her hands and start to motion them towards the object and she, it does take her a minute but she will finally get a grip. It's been really helpful because she can actually hold toys and it will occupy her for a minute. The other thing I want to talk about is anxiety. So I think she has some kind of anxiety. I'm not going to call it stranger anxiety because even like with my mom. Um, she doesn't let her hold her. <laughs> um, if she does, it's only for a minute and she can't hear my voice or she will start crying. I'm like the only person that she will let hold her. She will sit in front of the TV now and she'll watch some TV and that helps out a ton. Um, as long as it has colors and music, um, she'll sit there and she'll watch that. But as far as like letting people hold her, she will not let anyone hold her. Now I will say she loves Kai. She loves him to death. She loves Kane too, but Kane is still, he's between the toddler and the preschool phase. And so he doesn't know exactly um, how to handle her. And so um, I think she's a little bit, I don't wanna say scared of him, but she has a little bit of anxiety when it comes to him. But she's more so comfortable with Kai. He handles her so well. He will pick her up for me, not very far. He doesn't like stand up and walk around with her, but he will adjust her and um, he'll talk to her and play with her and she loves it so much. Um, she likes Kane too. She just likes him from a distance. Yes, yeah, she loves both of her brothers. Either one of them can talk to her and she just lights up. She loves them so much. As far as her clothing size, she's pretty true to size. She is, like I said, about to be five months old and she's currently in three to six. So true to size. Um, she loves to blow raspberries <laughs> and this is something she started doing at like 5 30 a.m whenever she wakes up she's such a morning baby like she can wake up and she is just ready to go she doesn't care what time it is she's so loud um as a matter of fact if she wakes up before the boys do which 90 percent of the time that's the case um i have to go ahead and take her out of the room or she'll wake them up so um she's just a very happy morning baby she loves to squeal and like i said her favorite thing is to blow raspberries i don't know what you guys call it but it's basically where they're like spitting with their lips she loves to do that that's pretty much all that i can think of for her little update so um another thing that i wanted to share if you guys have a girl and you're looking for some cheap affordable but quality bows these are on amazon i found this bag it's a bag of 40 she has one on right now but they're all just headbands and i was thinking that whenever she outgrows the band part i can take them off of the band and hot glue them to some clips so they have all the colors so they match all of her outfits there's literally a bow for every single outfit that she has so if you guys are interested i will have these linked down below all right so the first thing that you'll do is find the center of your wrap and that's indicated by usually a tag of some kind and so i'll go ahead and put that right above my belly button and that's how i know that my wrap is centered and so then I will take the back and crisscross it and bring both sides around. And at this time I'll go ahead and I'll fix my shirt. Sometimes your shirt will ride up as you're trying to get the wrap adjusted. So I'll go ahead and take this time to fix that. And then next you're going to take the two panels in the front and go ahead and drop those through the center of your wrap. And when you do this, you want to make sure that they're crisscrossed. And now you're going to go ahead and tie your wrap. I bring mine around twice because I have a lot of extra wrap left over. So I'll take and I'll take it back one time and then back around the front and then I'll go ahead and tie it in a knot. So now it is ready to put baby in.
So starting with the panel that is on the bottom of the crisscross, you will go ahead and put one leg in that. And just make sure their little booty is sitting right in the middle of that crisscross. And then you'll do the same with the other side. As you're doing this, I like to go ahead and tuck their arms as well. And now you can take that center panel and bring it up over the baby. This is just an extra layer of security. And I like to tuck it just under her butt. And that is it. That's all there is to this little tutorial. You can still tuck their feet at this age, but I think she's just more comfortable with her feet dangling. So I'll go ahead and pull it above her feet. And like I said earlier, I do have the Boba and the Key Babies wrap. Both are very good quality. The Key Babies doesn't have as much stretch as the Boba. So if you're looking for a wrap that has a little bit more stretch, then I would recommend the Boba. But I'm going to have both of those linked down below. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Also, if you're new here, I would love if you hit that subscribe button and become part of my YouTube family. You can also follow me on Instagram at Kelly's Corner underscore 08 to keep it with me outside of YouTube. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.